In this sketchpad lab, we're going to construct the geometric mean. So, okay, you've got this document um, copied out of the classes folder. Make sure you put your name on it somewhere. And this is what we're starting with. I've given you this to start. I've given you this semicircle with a diameter AB that's split into these two pieces. AC, the blue section, and the orange segment, CB. And you see we can resize this a little bit, put some restrictions on it, but there we go. You can make it that big if you want. And we've also got mobility here on C. Now I put some stops on it so you can, can't take it all the way to the end. Something like that. All we know is that AC or AC and B are collinear. And from this we're going to construct a geometric mean. All right, let's get to it first thing we do is we construct a perpendicular. Well, that is a line perpendicular to the diameter AB passing through C. To do this, select point C and either of the two horizontal segments, I'll take the orange one and construct perpendicular line. There you go. Now let's make it red uh, just because I want us to be consistent. This is the way we did it in class. So we'll use all the same color scheme. And now I've got this. Okay. Well, all we've got to do is identify a point of intersection right there. And I'm going to call it G. Now let's call it D. That's what we used in class. Now, again, we're going to draw over it. I'm going to replace the line with a segment and you remember how to do that. If you're in Sketchpad 5, it just turned that line dashed. But either way, you drew a segment there. And now I'm going to select the line and hide it. And you know the command for that. We can use the command H, or if we go here, right there. So now you've got this. And we need to measure the segment. I measure this, I measure length, and I've got something. Oh, I can't stand that. Let's make them all the same size. And I'm going to match the color of the measurement to the color of my segment so I can look at it more quickly. Let me see. I used Arial. Be consistent. Now, if you want, you can put the right angle mark in there. Pull up your right angle command. Click one, two, three, just to make it pretty. But now let's do the math. Here's the fun part. And I'm recording this on a smaller screen, so let me move this up here. I want to find some ratios. So we go to measure, calculate, blue, divide by red. And I'll set that equal to this amount. You see, when C is on the left side, or that is when, when it's on the left of the midpoint, I see this ratio is less than 1. Here it's greater than 1. Makes sense. Now let's do another calculate. Measure. Calculate. Now I'm going to take red, divide by orange. Aha. Uh -huh. And you can see. Now, we could have probably set this to more precision, more decimal places, but we got it to the hundredths place. And what you see there is that the ratio of blue to red is equal to the ratio of red to orange. You already know what that means, but let's just show it one more way. Let's do one more measurement. We're going to calculate, and we're going to take blue times orange, that's going to give me one measurement here. And I'm going to compare that to red squared. So measure, calculate, red segment, that carrot, and that's the squared. And we compare that, and we have equality. So the orange segment times the blue segment is equal to the red segment squared. And what you can see here, since blue is to red, as red is to orange, we would say that the red is the geometric mean. 
So let's write that down. The red segment is the geometric mean between blue, oops, spelled it wrong, and orange. Straighten that out a little bit and make it look pretty. We, have, we did this in class. We make your text look like that. There's red. There's blue. And there's orange. And there you go. Your lab's complete. Hand it in. Just in time for the bell.